and thank you for joining for this next demo. Um, this is a pretty exciting one. This is a new feature that we've added to CRD. Um, it's going to be a part of the event-based schedule known as if data has been received in a report, excuse me, in a port. Um, pretty exciting stuff. Rather than kind of like, unlike our other event-based schedules, rather than us polling your database or polling a target during a given number of intervals in the way how we do the event driven, it's actually built a little bit differently. We're actually listening at a port and when that data crosses our path in that port to illustrate it a bit better, then we will trigger some sort of action against it. Uh, at either A, sending a report, executing a custom task, any number of things off the basis of that data appearing there. Um, pretty exciting stuff that this was actually a customer request where they, act, they have uh, a few legacy systems that trigger and send data through a specific port. They needed a software that would listen for that data and off the basis of that trigger a whole litany of other tasks. So good example of how you the customer shapes how the product grows and changes. All right, enough yapping, let's take a look at it. Well, if we go to the Home tab and then we click on Event-Based Schedules, we'll go ahead and name our schedule. Give it a description, keywords like you normally would in any other schedule. Now let's take a look at our conditions. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with event-based conditions, conditions are the events that need to happen in order for your report or any of your tasks to execute. So we'll go ahead and add. Let's move that over a bit. We'll go ahead and add. And then we will say if data is received in a port. Okay. You'll simply name your condition. And then we'll need to indicate whether it's true or false. If it's false, that means if there is no data, then we'll execute the task. If it's true, then what we're saying is if there is data, then we want you to execute the task in the reports or whatever. Uh, let's pick true. All right, simply indicate your port number. Um, that's coming from the system. This is you as the administrator would know what port it is that you would like us to listen to. Or as an alternative, you can put in your own IP address. If you need us to monitor an IP address for particular data, you can do that as well. Next up, now you have to tell us what type of data should we be looking for. Under receive data, you have the option of matching all of the following or matching any. If it's all, all of the criteria you throw in there, yeah, it has to match all of them in order for it to trigger the task. Any, on the other hand, is if it meets any of those things that you put in your criteria, then we'll execute the task. So let's go ahead and we'll do a contains and we'll say around the whole. All right. So we have around the horn there and we'll click the plus button to add that. If we wanna keep adding conditions or keep adding criteria, you just simply do that as you need to. Little cracker box. Can't spell cracker. There we go. Okay. So once you have all of your criteria added, all you have to do is click OK. Your condition is listed here and then from then on you can keep adding criteria or any other conditions as needed. Um, if we we're going to keep going through this event based schedule, you have the option to execute a new report. So build your own report. You can even build that report based on your event driven data. You can execute an already existing schedule that you have. So if this data appears, then execute this such and such report. Or if you select none, you can actually do a custom task. 
And again, you can do any of the custom tasks that we have available. For example, if data is received in a report, I mean, excuse me, in a report, send you a notification to let you know that data is there. All right. Well, hey, that's it for all of the, uh, for the if data is received in a report. Pretty exciting stuff. And I'll be taking a look at you in the next tutorial.